I've received many calls, many emails, many queries from the press in recent days about this notion of a sanctuary city, and so I want to lay some things to rest here today. This term sanctuary city doesn't have a sole legal or procedural definition. You can look in Georgia statute and you can find a clear definition for a unified government. You can look in contractual language and you can find out exactly what it means to be an SEC institution. Sanctuary city doesn't track with either of those. And so that term means different things to different people depending on the context of the discussion. Uh, we know what many, it means. many of the elements, liar. many of the elements, liar. 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 We, liar. we are here to listen. Liar. You're a liar. We are here to listen. Liar. There'll be time for liar. questions. You are guilty and got blood on your head for this murder, sir. Many of the aspects that are ascribed to sanctuary cities we know what sanctuary are things means. that are disallowed by Georgia law. Sanctuary policy, which is what right, we do. And we contribute a document every year to the Georgia Department of Audits, indicating that we do not correspond to these definitions under state law. Yes, you do. And no policies have been adopted Please by the mayor and commission that have created sanctuary county. city status Sir, in Athens. You need to resign. One protocol resign that sometimes now. arises. Resign. resign now. Resign. You allow one protocol, this to happen, sir. One protocol that you sometimes arises is the approach that sheriff's offices and jails take to what are termed detainers. The sheriff's office approach has varied over the years, but this question, again, in the purview of the elected sheriff, honors detainers when issued by a federal judge or federal magistrate. In the main, I caution against conflating immigration and crime. The data demonstrates that the two are not connected.